Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Beaver Town. Now here we are in Amsterdam and uh, let's get straight into our naming ceremony. First of all, we're gonna grab one of the beavers from here and in the... What was it? Episode... I think it was 19? Yes, it was episode 19, where uh, the winner was Trollhand. And he had some very good tips around haulers and how they operate and how to, how to make most out of... Uh, especially when you're moving into a different district or expanding, uh, basically. Alright, so here we go, Trollhand. This one's for you and welcome to the colony. Now, a couple of uh, special mentions that we're also going to add to our colony are going to be... Uh, we have Layla and also Pixie. So both of you, thank you. Thank you very much for being super sweet and, and caring in the, in the comments. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you once again and welcome to the colony. Last but not least, we will also add... Well, what I mean is we, we found Steve. Steve's over here. And uh, Ryan, if you're watching this, do not worry, we've, we've found Steve. He's been living in Amsterdam this whole time. And so Steve, yeah, welcome welcome to the colony. And uh, thank, thanks very much, Ryan, for watching the videos. I really hope you're still seeing this one as well. Now, let's uh, unpause the time. This is all good over here. It's coming along pretty nicely. Now, today's plan is really just to... Well, first, we'll, we'll check how our food is doing. The roast, or sorry, grilled potatoes are doing fantastic in in Hampstead. Uh, in Hampstead, them actually We've got more than two thousand, and we should be exporting them as well. I think we're needing a few more haulers in in this station. And uh, well, we got a few kids going up, growing up, so we should be good. Now, District Two. Let's have a look. We should have. Yeah, the food is all right. We've got some carrots. There isn't really a lot happening here right now. So we can... We'll we're just leave it in the background for the time being. And then finally, we've got uh, our initial district. We've got quite a healthy number of bread. Few carrots. No potatoes, I guess. I guess the holders aren't keeping up with the, uh, with the demand. When it comes to wheat, I think we've got a very... Uh, very good amount over here. Quite a lot, actually. So just need to check their all oh, efficiency is 100%. We're just mi missing one, one beaver here. These guys seem thirsty for some reason. Uh, we should have water here, right? Yeah, we've got a thousand. Okay. So food seems to be doing pretty good. I think the next plan really is before we go into our this episode's uh, expansion, we're going to need some more planks. We've been using quite a bit, and we've only got, what is it, 268 left. Now, with how many stations do we have? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, lumber mills. But it still seems it is not enough. Overall, we've got 2,000 over here, and quite a few tree plantations as well. There's one over here, that's quite a big one. And we should have another still in, in here as well. And they should be operating. There should be no problems at all. Okay, but we are still going to need some more lumber mills. So let's um, let's figure this out together real quick. Now, it's going to be a little bit, bit of a challenge to bring power in here the way things are currently. But I think what we'll have to do is... Create a little bit more space here. Yeah, perhaps something like this. And then to bring it around, we're going to have to make some changes over here, I think. We can either bring it through the middle or build additional platforms over here, which could be an option as well. I think I, I'm liking this option a bit more. It is going to eat a little bit more planks, but this is going to regard... Um, it's just going to be a bit more awkward to get it through the middle here. Let me think about it for a second. Okay, I think I've made up my mind, and yeah, we're going to go from, from behind here. I hope this will make things a little bit easier. Wait, what's going on? Oh, gotcha. Okay, something... Uh, we're going to bring it up. Uh, yeah, that's, uh... 
Actually, no, we're 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 fine. All we need is a couple more. Let's see, one up this way. And then let's put in the power shafts as well. There's one. Don't think we're gonna oh uh, how are they gonna reach over here? Uh Okay. I'm gonna have to think about this uh, one more time. Okay, we've figured it out. Uh, for real this time. Change my mind. We're gonna go through the middle instead. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier and less on the planks as well that we need for this um, quick little upgrade. I think we'll ask the builders to complete all this first. And then essentially all we gotta do is we need to bring the power up by one. And here it's much easier to connect it up once again. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to give beavers a little bit of time to build this up. Uh, and then uh, as soon as it's done, then we can have some more blanks being made for us as well. Fantastic. We've got a few um, few lumber mills in now. We there's two that are almost complete as well, but we can leave them. That's a good good starting point for for our expansion here. Now the next thing and actually the core of our episode is is going to be um, going back to what we were initially planning to to in this area in District Five. So in case you don't remember, we were planning to build kind of like a reservoir in this location by building up some levees on both sides and to contain all that water in the middle. Now the, the reason why we're doing this again is we, we want to put in some water we wheels in here as well because they are a very good, very good source of power. They run all the time, they're not really depending on the wind. Of course they'll depend on the on the water flow, but I've got some ideas for that as well, which we'll explain a little bit later. Now, I have quickly queued up a few levees, if I can just grab one. And that's pretty much the idea. We're gonna start building up slowly on the further sides first. We need to get rid of a few trees first of all. And we also need this staircase in place, so let's just... Um, We'll bring up the planning mode once again. Uh, yep, yeah, we can bring this road here. I think we should be able to reach later on. Or maybe even... We grab one of those buildings. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they, they'll have to probably go up a little bit. Okay, now coming back to the building plan here. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few levees in, but only in the bottom for the time being. And uh, the reason um, these platforms are here is essentially this is where the power uh, lines will be sitting on top. And we're going to have water wheels right next to it. Okay, so it's going to look pretty much like that. Just a little bit higher. What I might do is, is quickly quickly change these to double ones. So maybe you can have beavers walking underneath. No, actually we're going to have people, beavers uh, walking on top. And um, we're going to have a line of, of water wheels going this way. And then uh, on top here we've got power wires. And that's going to be easy. We'll just connect them up uh, into, into our windmills that we built in the, in the last episode. I just have to check. Why can't they... How come, is it too, how come it's too far? Oh, okay. So we're going to need another road here. That's okay. You fine now? Yes, you are. Perfect. Okay, so that's the... The water side over here with some wheels. I have queued up a couple more. What is it? The builder's hut. This means... Oh yeah, we have to reshuffle you a little bit. Let's just fix this real quick. And we'll add a road. There we go. So that way we can uh, put a few more builder's huts. Now the reason why I'm building uh, more, more huts for the builders is... It is a massive project. 
we're gonna need a lot of beavers uh, working on this and uh, we will have to bring some more in and um, with uh, the comments that um, Trollhand was was leaving on one of our videos as well we're gonna go and take a look at the the uh, what is it, the bonuses once again so we don't really need any of the basic needs well we need them for the beaver to survive uh, but in addition to that let's have a look through nutrition uh, number one isn't really that important, but two and three. Uh, two because it gives them a bit more strength, plus 30%, and the third one gives them carrying speed, plus 20%. Now, we are bringing in the bread, and uh, let's have a look. We should have bread, and we'll set up a route or route for, for the potatoes as well. But then the next uh, next benefit, if we can grab someone, please. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, or oh, the first one gives them working speed, so I did queue up a, a bit of a monument here, so that they could uh, have some better bonuses. Uh, the second and the third, I don't think we're gonna build them here, because it requires a lot of blanks, and the last one just um, takes a whole, whole lot of power. I mean, this wasn't supposed to be a permanent district here anyways, so I don't really want to queue up too many things in here. When we get to the happiness section, social life is not that important to us then um, fun fun would be nice but that means we have to build the carousel for them which maybe will change our mind but for the time being no comfort that is all fine and knowledge we're not really creating any books right now uh, although that would be nice because working sp speed plus 20 would be fantastic spirituality working speed plus 30 a is massive so we have built a temple here and let's check the last one as well aesthetics gives us an, another 10 percent on the on the working speed so i'm trying to put a few few extra things in here and a few more houses as well one is paused but the other ones we're gonna move some more beavers in here uh, let's just check where do we have some unemployed beavers what about you guys you got 12 in here oh wow Okay, so District 5, let's send 12 over. So now we have 6 unemployed, but they should move into the builder huts. Okay, no unemployed. Perfect. So that means we've got a total of 14 builders. We could do more actually, and view in there as well. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna start queuing up some more jobs. But the priority is to get the foundation in place first. We want to be able to regulate the water going towards our colony. So that way we're not going to flood these areas anymore. I think we can actually pause these buildings. There we go. And uh, But also keep those water wheels working for the time being at least. Um, so yeah, I'm going to time lapse some of it. But not all because it's going to take a very long time. It's going to be, a, I think, a two episode project most likely. But um, yeah, Let, let's see how it goes. We're gonna jump back into the game over here and uh, I'm actually been spending a bit more time in the rest of the colony rather than looking at how our project here is going and that's because I think we we still need to optimize uh, our food production here what I've done so far I've removed a few of the potato um, grill houses I put in another farmhouse in here some more potatoes not potatoes, carrots, and um, it just seems that the main colony isn't 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 still having enough food. So I'm trying to find, figure out ways how we can improve the situation. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's start with uh, Hamsterdam. I've closed up a um, few of the builders' huts because I needed a hauler station here, and there's still no beavers working in here. Um, I did open up a few houses as well to have more more beavers and it seems I think they are transporting some grilled potatoes now let's have a look are there any here no none huh, that's odd why aren't you moving things over not entirely sure why maybe some of them are
Yeah, it's definitely... That's the destination. Uh, limit. Let's have a look. I, we don't really... Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe... Just as much as you want is okay, actually. Low is 50. It should be fine. Low resources below this limit are not carried out from a district. So that means... If we had less than 50 pot uh, grilled potatoes in Amsterdam, that means we're not taking them out. Okay, seems like they're going somewhere now. Or is this just the f end of the shift? Where are you heading, buddy? I think it's the latter. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look in here as well. There's loads of grilled potatoes. Hmm. Not 100% sure what's what's happening right now. And we should... Mm, well, maybe they don't have enough haulers. Maybe that's the issue. Okay, but since we don't have a lot of building left in here, just a little bit in that corner, we'll close down another half. So that should give us a few more beavers to work with. Now the question is, where did they all go? Okay, maybe we'll close one of the farmhouses as well, because we do have enough... Quite a lot of potatoes. Let's see, you're harvesting, harvesting, planting. So maybe just the middle one here. And no, we still need more. Okay, maybe we can find something else we can close. At least for the time being. Well, to, to be honest, there isn't really anything else left here. Yeah, there's just farmers and... Let's have a look. We got two in the builder's hut. Eight in distribution post. Okay, in that case... Maybe there's too many beavers here. Can a couple of you work in the... Hauling post in the, in, instead. Okay, so we're finally carrying some cruel potatoes over. Okay, so that's nice. Then bring brought in here. And they're going straight out. Okay, whew. I was getting quite worried over there. So now this should be, should be working. Let's see, can we, now we need all those haulers here. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some more haulers. So we'll just wait until some of the kids grow up and then they can uh, work at this hauling post over here. Now going into district two, I think the food's going up now as well. Same with the water. I had to pause um, the, the monument over here uh, because we were running very low on water. We'll definitely have to come into this district to figure out what we want to do with this, to be honest. I mean, with uh, District 1 and Amsterdam, it's it's pretty clear. Amsterdam is going to be a farm district for potatoes. And District 1 is more about production and, and also wheat. And things seem to be... I think food is starting to go up slowly now. Uh, especially now that we've got a... Well, there's no workers here, but you do have an extra farmhouse, so... Maybe we'll be able to pull a few workers in there. Let's see. Got two. They are taking water and that stuff over. Uh, water pumps we are going to need, so I don't want to pause any of those buildings. Haulers, again, quite important. You in here... We might just need a bit more. To, um, what I mean is, we, we'll probably need to increase our population, actually. Or, let's see, there's another builders out here. How many builders do we have in this? Uh, that's the last of it. Hauler here. So maybe we'll take a few. Get with them out. Okay, so we finally have another farmer here. That's good, because I don't think... Um, yeah, this has been harvested for quite a while now. Okay, we'll let them continue and we'll see in the future if we want to increase our beaver population. Now let's actually check on the planks. Okay, so that's gone up pretty rapidly. So that's good. Paper, we're all good over here. Gears, that's a little low. But I think the future construction over here, don't, they don't really require a lot of gears. Okay, they're bu building the platforms as well. And uh, that's 
That is exactly what we want to do. And the reason for that is once we have the scaffolding in, in place, this way we can build the side of the dam or the reservoir all in one go. We don't have to uh, wait for one pillar to be completed and uh, do it one by one, which was um, which is what what we did with the with the aqueduct over here, and that was a very slow build process. So for this one, we're a little bit smarter. We do need that scaffolding for uh, anyways for for power lines. Uh, so that's um, yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, this is taking quite a quite a long time, and I was I was thinking, well, I really want to time lapse this this whole whole wall over here, and I might still do it. However, to make it uh, look very nice, that means I need to leave the camera on on this area, and um, I'm a little bit worried that uh, the rest of the colony might just die off because it does require. At this stage of the game, at least, it does require you to, uh, at times, um, with the setup that I have currently and how I've done things, to occasionally check in and make sure that we, we don't have a like a massive death wave uh, suddenly in just because we are unable to get water for the for the beavers. So what I'm going to most likely do is uh, let's just check the food levels here. So. District 1, the bread's actually really ramped up now uh, since we got four bakeries and four crisp mills working over here and we've also prioritized them, the holders to, to bring the resources over there. Now, District 2, yet again, they're not doing bad, they're doing actually pretty good. There's a lot of carrots in here, so pretty happy about that. And then if we go to Amsterdam, same thing here, we've got a, actually a ton of potatoes. I mean, grilled potatoes. Uh, it seems there isn't a huge backlog of of potatoes there, but that's probably because we turned off one of the farmer stations. So maybe that's something in the future we'll have to turn it on again. But yeah, generally that's pretty good. I still have to maybe do a little bit more reading up on the transportation and trade networks because I don't feel like they're moving potatoes across the district fast enough like in a typical day most of those haulers over here are just sitting around sorry the traders yeah the haulers distributors whichever they are but the the haulers i think that they seem to be fine they're they're running around and maybe i just don't have enough haulers i mean i've got three stations but they're not quite filled up yet yeah, I can have a few more in here, which means we need to increase the population. But uh, but yeah, maybe I think we'll probably just need some more haulers. But then at the same time, the stock in here just stays at 25 pretty much most of the time. So yeah, I'll have to look into this and maybe maybe we can make it a more efficient. Now coming back to the the main project over here. That is, of course, going to take a very long time. But it looks like we've got the foundation in at least. Really rough sketch in here, so that's good. Happy about that. Uh, same on the other side. It's in some areas two levels up. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna let it build for a while. And we should have at least one of the sides complete in the, in the next episode. That's my prediction at least, and uh, let's hope it goes that way. But for the time being, this is going to be the end of this episode. I wish we got a little further, but that is okay. We still got time in the other one. So once again, I do want to thank you for joining in, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.